I've been coaching at home since end of March, probably three to four weeks. My experience coaching from home for the last three months was great. There was definitely an adjustment period. It's very, very different not having people with you while you coach. Being able to work from home still allowed me to interact with our clientele, which I loved and being able to provide that service for them was amazing. It was really good to keep in contact and kind of see how everybody was doing. How would I motivate a client who <laughs> has fallen off the bandwagon, so to speak, as far as training goes during COVID? Honestly, the first thing I would say would be to cut yourself some slack. It's been stressful. And I think as well-intentioned as we are with trying to stay on top of our movement practice and trying to get all the things done. Cut yourself some slack. It's been stressful. It's weird, it's different. I think the first step would just be, you know what? It's okay if you have fallen off. And the second thing I would say is see if you can come to class a couple times a week, be it in studio or virtually with us on Zoom. Start there and just see how it makes you feel with no expectation beyond just come to class. The thing is, is like, that's been my, that's been my thing. I might get to yoga once a week. I might get like an additional movement practice in maybe once every two weeks, but you know what? That's what it is right now and I'm okay with it because this is weird. <laughs> and so we hang out, right? <laughs> so yeah, that's how I feel. How I am feeling about coming back to the studio. I'm excited. There's definitely going to be some adjustments, things that we need to be aware of. But as a whole, I would say I'm really looking forward to it. I think that the Flow Shala is doing a really good job of following the guidelines that the governor put out as far as reopening our studio. I think they're really conscious of trying to make sure that everybody feels really comfortable while still creating an engaging environment for our clientele. I think it'll be fun coming back and interacting with people again will be great. Masks are the new, the new thing. I actually just went through my coffee stand this morning and Coffee Girl and I were talking about how cute her mask was. And she had a little green one with uh, white polka dots on it and it was, it was adorable. So it's like the new compliment to get, I like your mask. So it's, you know, like it's definitely different than I think we'll be used to, but it, I think it can be fun to even within the safety guidelines. 